welcome to my Puerto Rico vlog. I just landed from VidCon literally an hour ago. It's like 2 a.m. right now. And I'm taking a boat at 3 a.m. So that's fun. We're going to the island of Culebra. Not gonna be able to sleep at all, which is gonna be wonderful. I've eaten only a Caesar salad since 8 a.m., which is not so wonderful. I think it's gonna be beautiful. It's like rated number four beach in the world and I've never gone, so I'm really looking forward to it and I'm looking forward to bringing you all along. Mommy! This is where we take the ferry. The thing is that we get there at like 4 a.m., but we can't do anything. We can't check in anywhere until 4 p.m., so we're just gonna have these bags walking around the beach. <laughs> That's so funny. What do you mean, no, we're not? We are going to take the bags to the place at 10. Okay, for five hours, we have the bags. Say hi, Tata. <laughs> Esta mi abuela. Mi abuela. Mire, hola, el Hola. <laughs> and if you don't know, this is Emmy. This is my puppy. Members, say hi to the vlog members. She says hi. We're boarding the boat. They're not used to the vlog. Oh, I'm filming. We're here. It's night time. <laughs> <laughs> a little tired. I'm trying to get better at vlogging. I need to do longer clips. More than like. What are you doing? Sleeping. <laughs> Sleeping. <laughs> Why'd you answer? Llegamos. Okay, so we got to Culebra. It's like, what time is it? Five oh six, and we have nothing to do, and we have nowhere, <laughs> and we have nowhere to go, and we're tired, and it was so cold on that boat. Me has no idea why she hasn't been able to sleep. So I'll keep you updated on what we do next. <laughs> Emmy versus Rooster. We got a Jeep Wrangler for the weekend. We found a coffee place with swings on it. It's called Black Flamingo Cafe. I'll let you know if it's any good. You wanna say hi to the vlog? <laughs> Mom. <laughs> And I just threw up my entire breakfast on the side of the road. I do not feel good. But look at this view. There she goes. A snorkeling trip, but look how pretty. Hi, <laughs> this is the view from the Airbnb. Are you joking me right now? You can bring your dogs, but they have chickens. There's a chicken over there. Playa Flamenco. It is literally gorge. Gorgina. There's a tank on the beach. World War I. World War I tank. My dad is a daredevil, so he's going out to it. This seaweed smells so bad. That was so easy for you. <laughs> Trying Cheez Its extra big. I never had these. I love the extra toasty ones. Mm. You know, my day's gonna live in something. Mm. Mm hmm. I love them. Then 
we decided to go watch the sunset and we went to this restaurant which honestly the ambiance was amazing but the food was not so much at least we had each other <laughs> then the next day we went snorkeling with freaking turtles turtles y'all they were literally everywhere you guys need to go to culebra because i was living also how clear is this water why is this water the clearest water in the whole world like it was absolutely amazing and i'm a huge snorkel gal like i love snorkeling so i've been snorkeling a ton and this might be one of my favorite spots that i've ever gone to because i've never been able to swim like turtles like we have on this trip y'all look literally two of them back to back they're the cutest thing ever i think turtle like moved up on my list to list of like favorite animals tons it moved up so much literally look how cute this one is we should name them i feel like this one's name should be like bart or something like that i think that's super cute okay here's some more snorkeling footage because i just can't not put it in i mean we took all these videos and they're so pretty like look at all these fish oh my gosh i saw this stingray and i was actually very scared so i kept my distance and then look at all these million little fish so cool little snorkel montage let's go i hope i don't get to let those all over the back oh my gosh i did throw up last time we were on the road like this and you were like i think i'm okay i'm good mom don't throw up mom don't throw up mom throws up like, oh no <laughs> and then i threw up and then that made mom throw up again <laughs> that was funny honestly waiting for the ferry to go back to the mainland smile why are you hiding there was a rainbow y'all it was so pretty we made it to the mainland what's up guys my name is christina and today we are raiding puerto rico beaches beach number one is here it's luquillo this beach has surfing waiting and even some massages so if you want that this is the beach for you aesthetically i don't like the sand that much i give it the sand is a five out of ten the beach looks fun the beach is pretty i give the beach an eight out of ten so overall looks like it's like a 6.5 out of ten all right guys beach number two balneario de montserrat which is just down the street from the other one if you weren't a fan of the big waves you could come here and enjoy nice calm beach Lots of palm trees, the aesthetic's very nice. However, I'm still not a fan of the sand, so I'd say this gets 6.7 out of 10. <laughs> okay, beach number three, Playa Vacia Talega. That is this one. The sand is ugly. The beach, not wavy. Pretty calm. I guess the only plus is that there's not really that many people here. I give it a four out of 10. Beach number four, Los Tubos. This beach is known for the tubes that the waves make, but it's not doing it right now. I used to come here and get absolutely trampled by waves all the time as a kid. We have a nice friendly beach dog. <laughs> What's your name? There are some rocks though, so you should definitely take note of that. I give it a seven out of 10. This is beach number five, Mar Chiquita. Honestly, it's one of my favorite beaches in Puerto Rico even though I've never really been here more, for more than five minutes. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> the rocks have made a small pool and it's so cute and it's usually packed with people. So obviously because it's raining, it's not so packed, but I give this one an eight out of 10. I haven't vlogged all day. I'm sorry about that. We didn't do that many interesting things. Went to the gym and then ate some food and then came to the beach. But look at the sunset. It's so beautiful. The road to Lattes is super twisty turvy because we're in the mountains, right? Yeah. My grandpa always used to say that a borracho made these roads. Uh -huh. A drunk person. A drunk person made these roads. Okay, we literally parked on the side of the street. Look, side of the street. And I'm going to walk like two feet and you're going to see the most beautiful waterfall. It's amazing. I love it. 
it's um, a little bit dangerous like to park and stuff so be careful if you come here it's like on the way to Lares from Cabo Rojo I don't know exactly where we are I'm sure I can figure it out and put it in the in the video but check it out it's absolutely beautiful anyways we took some pictures and yeah it's just so beautiful okay we made it to Lares and we are at the ice cream store they sell lots of weird ice cream I still have the taste of garlic in my mouth, but my dad gave me, what is this? A jawbreaker? Atomic fireball. Atomic fireball jawbreaker. So now it tastes like spicy garlic. But we're headed back to Combate. Right now we are at We're at my cousin's restaurant. <laughs> He's a chef. So we told him that we would come and so we're here. And it looks really nice so far. Very fancy and very cute. Welcome to another day in Puerto Rico. Look how pretty we are hiking to a waterfall with the little mems and my dad and I. And I'll show you the way. Oh no. Cold though. I was not prepared for another workout after our workout. I hope we're almost there. Ay, Dios mío. This is a lot more treacherous than I imagined, and now I'm freaking dirty. Okay, these flowers are pretty cool. We're almost there. Okay, we made it, and it is really pretty. Yes, yes, yes. So pretty. I wish I had my bathing suit. We're on our way back, and I am sweaty, so sweaty. But uh, we're going back. I wish I brought my bathing suit. So it's so fun. Um, and I definitely wish I didn't wear flip flops. So if you get anything from this video, do not wear flip flops while hiking in Puerto Rico. Please and thank you, that's it. <laughs> I'll see y'all at the end. When we got to the sign last time, I thought we were close. Yeah. We were not close. We made I, it back. I look really beautiful. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Okay, basically, now I just show you some B-roll from the Flower Festival. It was honestly very cool and very beautiful. It was really hot, but we had a blast. My grandma loved seeing all the flowers. That's the reason that we went, because we wanted to treat her to something that she would really enjoy. My grandma grows, like, orchids and she has tons of them on her patio so i just know that this meant a lot to her that we went all together to see all of these beautiful flowers so yeah after the festival we went ahead and drove home and look at this view on the way home it was amazing this is church the next day just in case you wanted to know that and here's a hermit crab and this was honestly our last day. We went one more time to the beach, made sure that Memi got some swimming in. And then I have this really awkward clip of me on the plane on the way home. So yeah, that's it. I hope you love this vlog. Thank you for watching. <laughs>